Hey bees, I'm Marie from Hubble Bee and Me, and today we are continuing our passion fruit coconut series with this gorgeous passion fruit coconut conditioner bar. Compared to the other conditioner bar formulations I have shared, this one has one really big difference, which is that it uses entirely BTMS 25 instead of BTMS 50 or a combination. I've had a lot of requests for formulations that use BTMS 25 instead of BTMS 50. It seems that BTMS 25 is a lot easier to get a hold of in a lot of parts of the world. So here's a formulation for those of you who have BTMS 25. Now, this formulation grew out of the same sample formulation that inspired the cranberry orange conditioner bar I shared last year. With the cranberry orange bar, I did a bunch of work to take it from using BTMS 25 to using BTMS 50. So if you have BTMS 50, I would recommend checking out that formulation instead. This bar is comprised mostly of BTMS 25 with additional satiral alcohol. In keeping with our theme, you'll also find some passion fruit oil and some virgin coconut oil, and for scent, a passion fruit natural fragrance oil. I've also included included a few other ingredients that my hair loves, like panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, hydrolyzed oat protein, and cetrimonium chloride. If you're looking for substitutions for any of the ingredients in this formulation, please make sure you're reading the blog post linked in the description box below. I always include a list of substitutions at the end of the formulation, and also make sure you look up the ingredients in the Humble Bee and Me Encyclopedia. You'll find a lot more information there about each ingredient specifically, including information on substitution suggestions. I absolutely love this conditioner bar. I've been riffing on different versions of it since last summer and I just love how it leaves my hair feeling. I used it in the shower last night to wash my hair and it feels great and there's no other product in my hair. This is just hair that's been washed with one of my shampoo bars and conditioned and here we are. All right, I think that is enough preamble. Let's go make a conditioner bar. We'll begin by combining the four ingredients in our heated phase in a small beaker. You'll need 30 grams BTMS 25. And if you only have BTMS 50, please make sure you're reading the blog post. I have a link to a slightly different formulation that uses BTMS 50 there. 8.5 grams satiral alcohol, 4.5 grams passion fruit oil, and two grams virgin coconut oil. Up next, I'm going to take a small beaker and put some water in it. So this is distilled water. Later on, we're going to need 2.25 grams of it. So just make sure that there's you know, a decent amount more than 2.25 grams in there. Our next step is heating everything through. So to do this, I like to do this in the oven since I find that the BTMSs can be a little frustrating to melt in a water bath. So I'm putting both of these beakers on a, just a plain old cookie sheet. And I'm going to put this in my oven at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, until everything has melted through in the speaker and then the water will also be the same temperature. While we wait for our heated phase ingredients to heat up, we're going to weigh out the rest of the ingredients into a third small beaker. You'll need half a gram of panthenol, also known as vitamin B5, half a gram of cetrimonium chloride, 0.75 grams hydrolyzed oat protein, and for substitutions, please make sure you're reading the blog post, half a gram Optifin Plus, and half a gram fragrance of choice. For this one, I am using this passion fruit natural fragrance oil from Essential Wholesale. This was gifted and we do have a uh, discount code for it. So make sure you're checking out the blog for that. So that's all of the ingredients weighed out now. Our next steps are going to be quite prompt. So up next, we're going to prepare our working area to make sure that we are ready. So here's our prepared workspace. I have the beaker with those last five ingredients here on a small scale. We're going to be weighing a tiny amount of that hot water in here. So that's what that's doing there. We have a dish towel here because we're going to be putting two hot beakers down on this. We have our mold over here. I've also prepared space in my freezer for this mold so I can put it down nice and flat. And I have two micas here, firecracker and lemon sherbet sparkle, both from Yellow Bee. These are both gifted uh, to decorate the top of the bar. And I've got this fun little lab tool with a tiny little spoon on one end for scooping out the micas and scattering them over top. And then it's got a stabby stabby end, which I'm going to use uh, like a toothpick to try and do some fun swirls on the bar before we pop it in the freezer. Okay, here we have our two hot phases. Remember that these beakers are really hot, so don't touch them with your bare hands. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is warm up the spatula that we'll be using to stir everything, just kind of by getting it in here in the hot water. I don't want to stick it in here because uh, it's cool and then this will harden around it. Uh, so we're just going to kind of warm this up in here so we can stir without um, 
creating too many solid bits. I pop a hot mitt on. I really like these ones because they have, you know, multiple fingers. I got them at Lee Valley, uh, but I think they've been discontinued, but they are a Trudeau brand, but I'm sure you can find plenty of similar products. All right, so we're firing up the scale over here, and now we're going to add 2.25 grams of this nice hot water. Give that a stir and then pouring it into this mixture. And then give that a stir. And then we're going to pour it into our mold. And you can see that we are already getting some uh, hardening there. So this does happen pretty quickly. Uh, and now we're going to do a little bit of decorating. This part is totally optional, but I think kind of fun. I think I will stop there and then I'm going to go put this in the freezer for at least half an hour to freeze solid. Once the bar has frozen through and become nice and solid, you can remove it from the freezer. You should be able to kind of pull the edges of your mold away from the bar and notice that it's quite firm. I'm just gonna push this up kind of through the bottom here. And there we are, our lovely conditioner bar. So you can absolutely, uh, you know, take a small paring knife or something to these edges to, uh, to shave them down a bit. You're gonna to wanna to leave this to age and dry out for at least two days before using, but that is pretty much it. So thank you so much for joining me while we made a gorgeous passion fruit coconut conditioner bar today. Please make sure you are reading the blog post linked in the description box below. It's got a lot more helpful information in there, information about substitutions, scaling, shelf life, where to buy ingredients, and a whole lot more. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.